What's happening, PGA DFS fans? Thanks for joining me on another one of my short form videos. I am Jason Roslin here on the Awesome O YouTube channel. You can find me, if you want to chat with me, at DFS Golfer23 on Twitter. Now, last week, in our three videos that we do here on our YouTube channel, sponsored by Yahoo, we had a pretty darn good week. We had Max Homer the winner in the first video, tipping him at a 40 to 1, roughly range we had a cameron young showing in this video here the values and a couple of other good picks in the sleepers so in all there were about 13 picks we got nine through the cut including the winner in the top five so a pretty solid week in terms of giving advice and let's see if we can back that up with another one here as we jump into our five picks this week also want to make sure you guys are liking and subscribing we've got our second major of the year coming up next week if you want access to behind the scenes or behind the curtains, I should say, of all of our Osmo Plus Platinum package with golf, well, I've got a great deal for you that's going to cover this week, next week, and a couple of more. So stay tuned for that. Okay, let's jump into our five picks here. Make sure you're liking and subscribing to our channel as well, The Odds Shopper and this YouTube one. Carlos Ortiz, he's going to be my first pick this week. Last year was a very good year for me. Won the Houston Open and then over the fall series and ended up having a pretty solid year but this year it hasn't been so great let's take a look at his strokes gain rank first and see why it hasn't been good he's ranked 70 uh 101st excuse me jesus 108th off the tee my numbers were a little messed up there 79th on the approach 198 around the green and 126 putting so there you go around the green has been a big problem for ortiz this year but typically it's not that big of a problem now he came in 21st last year here at this tournament at this course also he's ranked 12th in the osmo value rank that is part of our pga dfs projections which of course you can get the full field being an osmo plus member all right so uh also for ortiz came in 51st but that 51st is a middle little misleading he had a couple of bad holes there at the mexico open ended up playing a lot better than that so like carlos ortiz at seven thousand dollars this week next guy i like at 7100 he is ranked number three on the Osmo Value rank. And this guy, I'm likely going to guess he's going to be very popular. Came in third here last year, and he's having a good season. Let's find out why. Off the tee, he's ranked 110th, 44th on the approach, 128 around the green and 91 putting. So it seems like he's got that good combo that certainly does well here of strokes gain on the approach and strokes gain putting. For Kazire, he hasn't played in the last couple of weeks. Last time he played was over at the RBC Heritage. He played pretty well there. So at just 7,100, look at Kazire, especially for your cash game lineups this week. Not for your cash game lineups, but maybe certainly for your GPP lineups and for your main lineup. I like Matthew Wolf a lot this week. I know sometimes we go to him. Maybe it's a little too early, but at just 7,200, Coming off his best finish in a couple of months, really since the fall swing, where he came in 11th, 6th, and 2nd in consecutive weeks. I like that stretch to start here for Wolf this week. We saw a lot of good signs. He gained strokes almost every category last week at the Wells Fargo Championship. Now he comes in this week, and he's ranked number 11 on the Osmo Value Rank Board, which is pretty good for him, knowing how bad he's played this year. Now, he did not play here uh, last year. It's coming off that 25th place finish last week at the Wells Fargo. Now, let's look at his strokes gain ranked up. He's ranked 142 off the tee, which is probably hurting his approach game more, which is ranked 194th this year. He is not that bad when his irons are good. He's one of the best iron players in the world. Not one of the worst on the PGA Tour, but 62nd around the green and 25th putting means his short game has stayed intact even through this bad form. So take a long, strong look at Matthew Wolf, just 7,200 this week. All right, now for my two higher price golfers on the value board, we're going to start with Aaron Wise, who's the number one value priced above 8,000 this week. He came in 55th here last year, but this guy is known to go low at events. In all of the events this year that have had a 20 under winner or better, Wise has been in the top 10 in three of four of them also. When this event was at Trinity Forest, when the winner was like 37 million under par, I think it was like in the mid 20s, Aaron Wise was that winner. So certainly a guy that is not afraid to take it low and he's playing good golf. He's coming off a sixth place finish a couple of weeks ago. And when we look at his strokes gain rank, we see that his putter is getting better. He was ranked outside of the top 200 on tour last year. Now he's ranked 140th. 
He's also good around the green, ranked 66th, and he's ranked 31st in both off the tee and on the approach this year. So for Aaron Wise, I think it's a great price. Clearly likes to play in events where scoring is low. So Aaron Wise, in fact, we've already mentioned him uh, in our first video here this week. I think he's in play for a win, possibly. Speaking of a win, Sam Burns was pretty close to that here last year as he comes in as our fifth value and the number one value above 9,000 this week. Him in second here last year. Hasn't played in a couple of weeks, so hasn't played since the Masters. Has had or mentioned back problems after his win at the Valspar, but I think that was more precautionary than anything else. As we look at his strokes gain rank, 73rd off the tee, 11th on the approach, 50th around the green, and 33rd putting. So that's going to do it for the five values here this week. Of course, make sure you stay tuned for the top five sleepers. And now is the perfect time to tell you about the Yahoo deal. If you have not already signed up for them over there, you have not made a deposit, not entered your first paid contest, well, now is the time to do all of that. So you're going to get a free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. That is correct. You're going to get a free month. That's going to take you through the PGA Championship next week, take you right up to the U.S. Open in four or five weeks' time. Plus, it's going to get you access to every single other sport that we provide projections for, which is almost every other sport in the world right now, except for NFL. So a great time to become an awesome World Plus member. All right, that'll do it for me. Of course, like I said, stay tuned for the Sleepers video and, of course, our live shows. If you're watching this after Tuesday afternoon, well, you can watch the PGA DF Strategy Show on playback. And, of course, check out the Live Before Lock Show Wednesday night with Ben Raz and I. So until then, everybody, good luck, and we will see you on the other side. Cheers.